everyone, this is Dee. I showed you in one of my first videos, I think, um, Citrusol paper, and I had a couple people ask me about it. Um, I know there are other videos on YouTube. Some of them are older though, um, but it's the same thing. Um, but I thought I'd show you how I do it and um, maybe give you some tips. Hopefully this would be just a short video. Um, there's not much to it. Um, it's basically using a National Geographic magazine and um, the other videos and many people have said National Geographic is the best one to use. Um, I've had uh, people use Somerset magazines and other magazines, but the ink that they use um, to photograph and to print, it's not the same. You won't get this effect. Um, it uh, does not, I call it melt the ink, um, but they're just beautiful. They can be collage. They can just be used as a page in a journal, um, maybe, you know, with some kind of a decoration or something, ephemera or something on it. But I love this. It's And you never know how it's going to turn out. I think that's why I love it so much. It's just fun to play with and um, to do. The more color you have on the pages you choose, um, the more, of course, color that it'll come out to be. This one was a construction one. And as you can see, it still shows part of the construction. It shows uh, a man. I like that. Um, the other side is just, you know, not, not much. Same with this one here. This one was some kind of a, um, mining, uh, photograph. So this is what you can get when you use Citrusol. The Citrusol has to be concentrate. Um, I got mine off Amazon and it runs about $8, um, a bottle. I'll talk about also different ways you can do it. Um, and of course, I'll show you the way that I do it. And here's another one. It uh, had something there and I like that. It didn't, the color didn't dissolve over it. There is writing on some. There's a way you can get rid of that or if you like it, you can leave it. Um, so let me do it real quick for you. Um, and like I said, hopefully this will be a short video. So when you get your National Geographic, the center pages are really the best to use. And that's beautiful. That, that would be a really cool one to do. But it's something about the ink that they use. These two would also be great, um, sorry for the glare, great um, pages to use. This would be another um, good one here. Mm, that one, not so much. Um, the more colorful, of course, um, that'd be a cool one. Uh, you know, the more um, colors you'll get. This is a great one, for example. Okay. All the different colors and everything. So you want to use the center of the National Geographic, and these work the best. Oh, that's so cute. Um... <laughs> You can try other pages that are not in the center. I've done that. This is another great one. And sometimes I think you can control how much um, the color, um, I call it, bleeds. Um, you can stop it or, you know, this is another great picture. Look at all the different colors. Okay, so that gives you an idea. But National Geographic is what you want. You can find them at thrift stores and everything else. So, every time I find a picture in National Geographic, I just put it in my folder. This is another great, this is great. Look at this one. So, I'm just going to pull a couple out. The C ones are always wonderful, okay? This one's even better. So, look on the back also of your um, pages. Use this one. I won't do too many. Um, what I do is I use a pan, aluminum pan that I get from the Dollar Tree. And one thing I like about it, it's this pan, is that it has these dots on it. And then these dots can sometimes transfer to the picture. Um, so I like that. But it's just a, a pan from the Dollar Tree. And then what I do is once I uh, put the citrus salve on it, 
I'll lift it out and then I'll put it on a piece of cardboard. I've got a really grungy piece of cardboard I coffee dye and all kinds of stuff on it. So um, that's just my go-to when I uh, can't get it outside. I feel that you need to be careful on that ink. Like if you've got a composite deck or you've got something, I don't know if it'll stain. Um, I don't even do it on my driveway. Um, I would lay something out. And I'm doing it on plastic now, so that might be a good thing is to lay out a piece of plastic um, and lay them down. Some people will take the whole magazine and they'll flip the pages and spray, uh, not spray it, but drop the citrusol on it. And then they'll just do this and they'll just let it dry. I like a little more control than that because I think if you let it go too long, I think you're going to lose some of the color and you may get an odd color. You may get a muddy color. Um, so I, I kind of be careful about just dipping it in or spraying the whole book. So you can try it different ways, but this is the way I do it. And again, I, I like to see you know, what I'm doing and, and how it turns out and so forth. So what I do is I spray the bottom of the pan with citrus salt. It's, it's low. My, my spray bottle is low. So I spray the bottom of the pan with citrus salt. Then I get my pitcher. And I'm going to do this side. And then what I do is I just mist citrus salt on it. You don't need a whole lot. So I just kind of wet it. You can see it. And then I'll get my next pitcher and I'll just lay it right on top. And then I'll get my citrus salt and I'll spray it again. And I'll get another pitcher. This one's cool. And I'll just lay it in there. I'm only going to do three. Let's see how it turns out. Um, and one thing you can do too, if you have writing on the other side, if you look, and this has to sit a little bit, but if you get a brush or your finger, your finger probably might work a little better, you can actually blur or take out the writing if you don't want it in there. So that's what you can do on the writing part of it. The longer you let it sit, of course, um, probably the better, but again, you gotta watch, my feeling is you gotta watch the color. So this isn't quite ready yet. And you've got a little bit of residue in the pan so you can just kind of move it around. Sometimes what I'll do too is I'll actually flip the page because I like the option of um, you know, choosing my pages. So this one is kind of starting to, the color starting to change. So I could just wet it a little bit more. And I can turn it around. And there's some at the bottom. Sorry for the glare. So I just let it sit for a little bit. I'll put a little bit more on it. I use a spray bottle. Um, I think it's a little expensive, so I don't. I try not to waste it. So I just kind of let it sit there for a little bit. And as you can see, the color's kind of blurring um, and kind of running all together. So I just tip the pan. And then I'll lift the whole thing and turn it. See, I like that. I would call this done. And the paper changes to almost a vellum translucent color. I like that. And one thing you can do too to make the blue run, for example, you can hold it up. And then you can see the, the color running down it. Okay. So to me, I like that. Um, you, this side, you kind of know what it is. This side is done. And look what happens when you start touching it, too. Okay, again, the ink is actually, I call it melting. It's not melting, melting. but um, So I just spray it again, and I just am very careful how I pick it up. So then I just take it out of the pan, and then I put it on my piece of cardboard. And look at this one. This one's really pretty. And again, I'm so sorry for the glare. But I'll separate it. And look at how pretty that one turned out. 
Okay. And I like how this one turned out. Again, you could go more citrusol uh, and really change that color. And look at, I like how the pan, the picture's picking up the dots in the bottom of the pan. I love that. So this one's probably ready to go. Yeah, because I don't want to lose too much of a color. So I just put it on my cardboard and I let it dry. And then I'll just get another sheet. And what I normally try and do, try not to waste anything. So I'll just pick up another one and I'll just kind of smash it down um, in the pan and see if I can pick up any of that citrusol, that excess, um, and try and use every bit that I can. And then if not, I'll just take the um, little squirt bottle and I'll just go ahead and put a little bit more in. But I've got some in the pan still. So again, I try and use every little bit I can. And again, I don't mind if it shows what it is, but I'll try and blur that picture as much as I can. Um, this side I really don't care too much about so I can just do this to it and I'm okay with it but that's changing a little bit again I'll need more citrusol so that's all it is and like I said the pa paper changes to almost a vellum it's a really cool feeling um, of the picture see that's starting to blur a little bit the uh, ink starting to run and starting to go into one another and if you like both sides, now this has writing in it, so I could just uh, kind of you know, do my finger here or a paintbrush and the text will go away. So you can do that too if you want. And you can probably just make your own little designs too, but I don't really mind the writing too much. And again, I can always put something over it. So there's the dots from the pan and this is starting to um, lose the design of the picture and I like that okay so again it shows that it is the ocean scene and it has still some of the pictures of the fish and that's okay I like that and the coral um, but again I can keep letting it sit uh, in here and more and more um, the colors will merge and change. So that's Citrusol. I'll just take this out. And then I'll just put it on this piece of cardboard. And I'll let it dry. You definitely need to wear gloves. But anyway, that's Citrusol. I hope you try it. It is a lot of fun. You never know what you're going to, uh, what colors you're going to get and how it's going to run. Um, but I put mine in a spray bottle and I just spray my pages and then there's not too much waste. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.